Hey friends, this is Marino Ian Isuman. Yeah, I'm a beekeeper and I'm the founder of um, Me Apiaries. In this video, we are going to take a look at something. Yeah, before I got into beekeeping, I used to wonder about a lot of things about bees, and one of them was how do beekeepers get bees in their hive to keep? Yeah, because we all know bees are in the forest, they are sometimes hanging on a tree. And like, I used to wonder how do they get them in their hives to keep them? Yeah, and then, but I got to learn that through the process. And since I became a beekeeper, I've got to know that it is a question most people, it's something most people want to know about because when people get close to me, when people want to know more about bees, the commonest question they ask is, how do beekeepers get bees in their hive? Yeah, I'm going to talk about this in this video. I'm going to tell four ways by which beekeepers get bees in their hive. I'm sure you, the one watching this video, are curious to know this. And I promise this video is going to answer this. Stay tuned. Before I start, let me explain something to you. We usually use the term a colonized hive. When we say a hive has been colonized, we mean that the hive was empty and, and now bees have come to settle in. I may usually use this term in this video. That's why I'm explaining to you. So let me move to the ways by which beekeepers get bees in the hive. One of the ways is what we call voluntary colonization. With voluntary colonization, the beekeeper will find a suitable environment with lots of flowering plants and water source. And then he situates his hive there, he cleans the hives and he baits them. And then he waits for either a bee swarm or migratory bees or absconded bees to come and then settle in let me explain all of them to you i mentioned three categories of honey bees let me explain them to you let me first talk about the bee swarm swarming occurs when a proportion of bees a proportion of a bee colony leaves the nest or hive to elsewhere to form a separate colony yeah, and then um, so the new colony form is what we call the bee swarm and then migratory bees too migration occurs when the entire population of the bee leaves a forage poor environment to a forage rich environment the forage here means food so when the place they are they lack food they will leave the hive to a place where there is abundance of food or where they can get food so when the bee colony leaves a place where they are lacking food to a different place we call the colony a migratory bee and then we have absconded bees and to when the entire population of the bees abandon the hive for other reasons other than other than food so it could be maybe lack of water maybe they don't get water there or pests and predators attacking them or or maybe overheating of the hive these are some of the reasons that can cause bees to abscond their old hive 
So when you bait your hive, when you clean your hive and then you bait them, you prepare them, any of these bees could find it suitable for accommodation and then they come and then they settle in. I mentioned bait here. Yeah, we bait the hives. The baiting here could be likened to a fisher who want to catch a fisherman who want to catch fishes with line and then hook. The fisher will place a bait on the hook to attract the fish onto it, then he's able to catch it. Mm, that is what we also do when we prepare our hives. We apply materials in the hive that will attract the bees in them. These materials have some pleasant scent, scent that the bees like. So this is what attracts the bees in the hive. So the bait could be the bait could be honey, it could be beeswax, it could be lime, lime fluid, it could be cow dung, it could be it could be sugar. There are lots of things we use as bait. So this is one of the ways we get we get bees. So when you prepare your hive, when you bait them, any of the either bee swarms migratory bees or absconded bees can find them convenient and then they come and stay in but with voluntary colonization when a beekeeper is fortunate to get a catchment area he may not even need to bait the hive and then the bees will come settle in as as um, the bees already are desperate to find a convenient place to stay a catchment area is a place where the bee population is already high. Yeah. Another means by which beekeepers get bees is what we call swarm capture. Sometimes baiting your hives and waiting for bees to come and settle in <laughs> delays a lot. It can take you about months, sometimes four, five, six months and even a year and then no single bee has come to settle in any of your hives so you have to resort to a different option and one of the options is swarm capture so with this a beekeeper will locate a bee farm in his vicinity or around his vicinity and then he captures them the bee swarm he captures the bee swarm and then dislodge into his hives it sounds scary right yeah but bee swarms are non <laughs> are not aggressive at all bees that have just swarmed and are in the process of locating a new home are not inclined to be aggressive or defensive they have one thing in their collective mind to find a new home so you can do them lots of good by capturing them and dislodging them into your hives. So when a big keeper finds this, what he does is he gets his, his catcher box, which is a small hive designed for just capturing bee swarms and then transferring into the main hives. So you get your catcher box and then in the absence of the catcher box, you can get, you can make a cardboard box yeah and then yeah you can use that one too you can design one and then you capture the swarms then you transfer to your hive you can also use your veil the bee suit veil what we have on on our head with netting the on the face you can use that that veil to capture the bees into your hive you don't have a catcher box mm this requires some technicalities not all beekeepers can do that and so but if you can't do you can reach out to an experienced beekeeper and he will do that for you i'll talk more about the process of doing that in one of my coming videos 
so if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, make sure you do so i have lots of content to share here and i'm not sure you are ready to miss any of them so subscribe to the channel and then tap on the bell button or click on it to get noted when i make new posts i'm going to make a lot of videos on this channel a lot of interesting videos on this channel so let's get to the other way of getting bees the third way by which beekeepers get bees is what we call colony division beekeepers need not to wait for bee swarms or migratory bees or or absconded bees to enter his hives when he has other colonies the, the colonies can be divided and then be used to fill other empty hives usually a beekeeper will not be happy about the fact that one day his precious bees will suddenly divide themselves and a part of them almost about half of them will leave to an unknown place yeah it's sometimes <laughs> worrisome yeah and it is it is more painful when you think about the amount of honey and other valuables they will take away from the hive just to sustain themselves when they go to their place and then reducing considerably the amount of honey we get the variables we get and the working force and so it is usually prudent that you master when to divide your hive and then you divide your colony at that, at that moment for your own good it can also be done when the hive is congested and the bees are ready to swarm yeah you can divide your hives at that moment and then you are good to go this method also requires some experience some skills it requires some technicality so before you do this you have to learn yeah, i'll talk more about this too in one of my coming videos yeah. so let's move to the fourth way by which big best obtain bees in their hive to keep okay so the fourth way is by buying bees yeah buying bees from fellow beekeepers let's say that um you've you've set your apiary you've set your hive you've installed your hives maybe you can't wait for a number of months after baiting your hive for the bees to come and settle in themselves maybe you can't capture a swarm maybe you can't divide you don't even have the colony to divide into your empty hives so one option another option you have is to buy your bees from fellow beekeepers yeah then you buy a colony the colony will contain the queen the drones and the worker bees yeah so that is one way you can get your your bees to keep so basically these are the ways beekeepers get bees to keep in their hive i'm sure this video has answered your question satisfactorily now if you want to go into beekeeping you know the various ways you know the various options available for you to get your bees be it voluntary colonization be it swarm capture colony division or buying the bees now you know the option to take if you want to go into beekeeping yeah. if you enjoyed this video make sure you like it and then comment at the, at the comment section if you have any question for me uh, give me a comment however where you feel um, for this video let me know your feeling about this video at the comment section and then if you have anything for me let me know at the comment section if there is something you want me to discuss or talk about in my 
on my channel um let me know at the comment section uh, and then subscribe to the channel uh, kindly subscribe to to the channel and then don't forget to click or tap on the notification button so that you get noted when i make new videos thank you so much for your time i have a lot to share see you again next time bye Thank you.